Allroad based South Ocean is another electrical products distributor. It has strong Taiwanese connections and has a market cap of 250 million rand. It also owns the lighting company Radiant and a number of properties. It has a price to earnings ratio of five. What is an L Road based? Excuse my <laughs> ignorance there. Obviously well, L Road is that suburb down there near Alberton on the southwest so of Johannesburg. This is a geographical term. East of Johannesburg, yes. But in fact, their original roots were in King Williamstown, so it's even better than L Road. So Edward Pan, who's the founder, Taiwanese guy, came here. They have a partnership with a Taiwanese based company which manufactures all the same stuff called Hong Tai, which actually owns a share in the business. Then, somewhere along the line, Investec, who were promoting the company, brought them to the market as a new listing in 07, said, Hey, we've got this bunch of friendly guys who have a business called Radiant Lighting. So, they put the Taiwanese and the Jewish guys together, and that's what you have in South Ocean now. Hasn't done extremely well, as you can see, battling along a little bit with a market cap of about 250 million rand but you know they seem to uh, be fairly sensible operators craig you believe they they're fairly sensible operators yeah look um uh, that's probably a question with regarding management um i think uh, one can question their distribution model if you compare it to the other companies other manufacturers we've spoken about because um they don't have all their depots they uh, use agencies and i think they give away a bit of margin with regard to that and Paul Pereira has been quite adamant about being loyal to those those agents so um, uh, I have a few questions in terms of the strategy I think also the um, uh, amount of time that they've been holding stock in the Radiant Group um, is, is extremely extremely long and um, so there's almost a, what I would think a bit of a redundant uh, stock uh, in terms of the stock turnover levels um, and you've seen decreases in, in, in revenue so um, as a whole, it has been a difficult environment, but um, there's a few things that don't give me a lot of confidence. And having said that, I, you know, I know the financial director, I did work with him uh, 12, 13 years ago, and he's a very astute uh, financial <laughs> director, and I'm sure he's got his finger on the cost, and that's what they've got to really look at and continue to, to uh, reduce uh, costs. And you know, coming back from the, the mindset, as Paul said, they were in, I think, just outside King Williamstown, the Baza, and, and you know, there, there it was Cisco days, low taxes, cheap labour, and uh, that's where the business was was built on. But the climate's changed, and so really to get back, uh, you know, they've got to they've got to try and get back that 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 model because it's a 4.9 percent operating margin that they've worked on for the last two years. Craig, hot or not? We've got to go directly to that on not, South Ocean. Not hot. Paul, hot or not, South Ocean? No, a little bit small, although I think they will benefit from the same following wind, so, but not hot. No.